Hey everybody, I'm Dino and welcome to my world, the world of technology. Today I'm going to show you how to install FreeDOS on VirtualBox. FreeDOS is a free and open source version of Microsoft DOS and it will run uh, a lot of the old DOS programs. So if you want to run an old DOS program or you want to experiment with DOS, this is a program to uh, install. I'm going to be installing it on a virtual machine today. You can install it on various hardware and old hardware. So we're going to go to the freedos.org website first. And if you scroll down, it will say download free DOS 1.2. That's the latest version. And it will give you a bunch of options. And uh, for most users, you'll use a standard CD-ROM. For older PCs, there's a legacy CD-ROM. So it, um, the one for virtual machines is generally the standard CD-ROM. This legacy one is if you have an older machine that you're trying to load DOS on and get working. You can uh, set it up to boot from a floppy uh, and it will load, I guess, the uh, uh, CD drivers for that floppy and you can install it off of a CD-ROM. And uh, so that's if you have an older hardware as well. Um, and then there's a full USB, a light USB, and a and uh, free DOS files archive, which is a, a, an archive of all of the files. So you have a bunch of different choices depending on what you're going to use it for. Today we're just going to go with the standard uh, CD-ROM version uh, right here. And uh, then we're going to go and go to VirtualBox. So I've already downloaded the ISO version earlier. And so we're going to create a new machine. And we're going to call it Free DOS. Now, because we put DOS in the title here, VirtualBox automatically assumes it's DOS. And so it falls under type is other and then version is DOS. So if you put a, a an odd name in here, you can name it whatever you want. But if you put an odd name in here, it may not recognize that it's DOS. So you'll have to manually set the type to other and the version to DOS. We're going to go next. Uh, DOS doesn't take as many resources as uh, newer versions of Windows and other operating systems. So uh, we only need 32 megabytes. It will actually run on less than 32 megabytes. So if you have an old machine that doesn't have that amount of memory, you can still install this uh, operating system on it. So uh, we're going to go next here. Uh, we're going to have it create a virtual hard disk now. It's going to set it by default to 500 megabytes, which is a very small amount too. That's all you really need. DOS programs are not very big, and so uh, they're much smaller than the the program sizes that we are used to today. So 500 megabytes will get you a long way. So we're going to go create. I'm going to leave it on a VDI virtual box disk image. And I'm going to go next. I'm going to leave it on dynamically allocated. Hit next. Uh, here it's already set to 500 megabytes for the hard drive. I'm going to go create. And it's created a virtual machine for us. So the next thing we need to do is go to settings. And we're going to go down here to where it says storage. And we're going to go here where the uh, empty CD is. And we're going to go and find our, uh, our file with the ISO that we downloaded and the one that we want is FD12 CD ISO uh, which is uh, the standard um, image so we're gonna go open and then we're gonna go OK okay then what we're gonna do is go up here and go to start and start our machine and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit tab now, now you can try install the hard disk but I've had some problems installing it in virtual box some people don't have uh, that the same problem uh, but I'm going to show you how to get around the problem if you you can try it first by going to install the hard disk but you may get an error an opcode error and if that's the case you want to go back and you want to hit tab or you can just hit tab from the beginning and I'll take you through the process so once we hit tab it actually brings up the command line uh, to install the image and what we're going to do is we're going to put a space here and type the word raw in lowercase. And then we're going to hit enter. 
and we're going to pick English. And we want to go yes, continue with the installation. We want to partition hard drive C here. So we're going to hit enter. So we're going to go yes to reboot and it will reboot our virtual machine. And so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go uh, hit the tab again. And once again, we're going to type raw after this and hit enter. We're going to hit English again and it's going to go continue with installation. And now it wants to format the drive. We're going to hit yes. And so now it's going to format our drive. It'll take, it'll take a few seconds for it to do this. It's pretty fast since this is a virtual machine and it formats really fast. Uh, it may take longer if you're doing it on a physical machine. So uh, now it's going to ask us some questions. We want the US English keyboard. We want to do the full installation. Full installation with sources have this, has the source code with it. So I'm, I just need the full installation in this case. Uh, so, and then it's going to ask us again to confirm we want to install it. Yes, install uh, free DOS version 1.2. And it's going to install all the packages and everything. And so it's setting up the boot files and everything. Uh, it says, do you want to reboot now or return to DOS? I'm going to go uh, no and go return to DOS for now. And I'm going to go up to here and go to devices and optical drives. And I'm going to go remove disk from virtual drive. And so then, uh, then we can reset the machine. And by default, it gives this second choice right here. So I'm going to just let it boot with that. And so now we're booted to DOS off of our virtual machine. So if we type DIR for directory, it will show us what's in here. Uh, there's not much in this, the root directory. We just have the autoexec.bat, which is run uh, when uh, uh, the, the machine starts up and it tells the machine um, what scripts and stuff to run. Command.com is uh, the um, main uh, kind of startup. Uh, and it runs the command line and everything. And uh, you've got kernel.sys in here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the directory to fdos. And then we're going to run directory dir again. And you can see we have a bunch of um, uh, directories in here. If we change directory to bin, that's the main directory with many of the programs uh, that you'll be looking for, particularly if you're familiar with DOS. And so we're going to change to that. If we go directory here, um, you can see we have a lot of programs in here. Uh, a lot of these are just um, basic command line programs from DOS. And so that, that gives you an idea. Those are just a couple of commands to show you. But that's how you install free DOS on VirtualBox. Uh, this has been Dino's Tech World, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.